Hey, shalom, shalom, mishpokha. Welcome to another edition of Torah Tidbits. This is Torah Tidbits installment number 51, and it's called uh, Netzavim, and it's taken from Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 9, all the way to chapter 30 and verse 20. Um, so this, this Torah portion comes on the tail end of the blessings and cursings of the Torah, the blessings of keeping the Torah, and the curses of disobeying or forsaking the Torah. So here in, the, in this passage, in this Torah portion, Moshe defines what the Torah is. What does he say that the Torah is? He said, the Torah is your life. It is your life. It is your heartbeat. It's near to your heart so that you can do it. And, you know, this is the passage that Rav Shaul quotes in Romans, uh, where he said that the word is nigh thee. It's even in your mouth, you know. Um, so, you know, the Torah is plain and simple. It's not rocket science, you know. I mean, yes, you can get mystical and, you know, and esoteric with it, what have you. But, you know, the, the, the Peshat level, the literal level, the Drosh level, the applicable level is plain and simple and black and white. It's not rocket science. And, you know, what did Yeshua say in Matthew chapter 5? He said, I did not come to do away with the Torah or what the prophets said. I did not come to, to do away with it, but I came to fulfill it. And that Hebrew and Greek word fulfill doesn't mean just to fill to completion and then you're done. It means to bring into its full and complete meaning so that we can walk in the footsteps of Yeshua our Messiah by walking and following in the Torah. So, you know, Yeshua, what is Yeshua? Yeshua is the living manifestation of the Torah. He's the living word according to John 1. So what is the Torah? The Torah is our life. What is Yeshua? Yeshua is our life. They're one in the same. One's a written manifestation, and, and the other is a living manifestation. The Torah is not a bondage. The Torah is 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 not, uh, you know, uh, God's uh, version of, of a rain cloud on your parade. It is our life. It is our marriage vows. We do it because we love Him. We do it because it brings us joy. And I'll tell you, the rabbis and sages in the Pirkei Avot says that what you know, what's the reward of a mitzvah? What's the reward of keeping a commandment? It's the satisfaction that you obeyed God, and one commandment leads to another commandment. You know that great feeling you have when you give to somebody with no strings attached, and you see the, the love and the happiness on their face? That's what it is to do a commandment, to do what God says, to follow the Torah. Oh, it brings us such bubbly joy in life. It, it renews us. It energizes us. It's like a breath of fresh air to our spirit. And what do we do when we know we do something selfish, and we, we do somebody wrong because we're being selfish because we don't want to lose something. We're hoarding something. Oh, it makes us feel like crap, and rightly so. Shame on us. It makes us feel bad. So when we disobey Torah, that's the same thing, you know? And we like to weasel our way out because we want to take the path of least resistance and uh, do what's easy, do what's simple, do what's selfish because we want what we want. But the more you live that way, the more you do it, the more you'll realize the less you have the more that's taken away from you. The more you give, the more you release yourself, the more you open yourself up, yeah, you're going to get bumps, knocks, and bruises and hurt every once in a while, but you know what? You're going to realize that you're going to be blessed. You're going to realize that God's going to pour back into you ten times more of what you've given out for Him. And that's what it's, that's, that, that's partially what it's about. So, um, you know, um, I just pray that, that God would, would help every one of my viewers to, to, that their hearts and their minds would be open up to the Torah, that they'd be able to walk in the footsteps of Yeshua, our Messiah, and follow Torah as he did, as he expects us to, because he was perfect, sinless, he showed us how to live it correctly. Forget about all what the rabbis and sages say and what the Talmud says and all these extra traditions. It's all about what Yeshua did, what Yeshua said, how Yeshua lived it, how Yeshua followed it. So, I uh, hope you enjoy this Torah portion. This has uh, been a little bit shorter than most, about half the time, but I hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Shabbat Shalom and Shavuot Tov Mishpokah. I love you guys. Praying for you. Thank you so much for all your messages, for all your comments. Uh, they're such an encouragement. And uh, may God bless you for it. Shalom. See ya.